So this is the uh, Yardworks steel dump cart, uh, 750 pound capacity, uh, picked up over at Menards. I hadn't really seen anything online as far as like a review on it or a build or anything like that, so put one together real quick. And uh, just open the box and all the pieces, the, uh, the main hitch bar, whatever you want to call it, and all the other separate pieces came in a their own box but it looks like there's just a few pieces in there the the actual cargo box itself is uh, comes all in one piece so that makes it a little bit easier than some of the other things I've seen where you have to actually assemble the uh, the bed itself but I'll get started and uh, put this thing together and see how difficult it ta it is it only takes like 30 minutes according to the uh, the specs on it so uh, I know I've, I've heard of some where they say oh it takes about two hours and people have been taking like three three and a half hours to put things together so we'll see how long it takes to get this thing together but it looks like it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward okay so a few minutes into the assembly I'm uh, going through and checking parts one thing I noticed is I line these up with the way that the uh, uh, instructions have them. One thing you'll notice is that there's no number 10 hex head screw, but it also has this what they call a truss head bolt. It says there's only uh, supposed to be four of these 13s, there's actually six, and the uh, actual the sizing is the same as the hex head, so we'll see if that works. If not, I'll just have to go back and get that resolved. And there's they gave me an extra. Um, one of these uh, nylon lock washers and then there's also a couple extra pieces that they don't mention in here they also don't place they have the washers on here but they don't have it listed um, the uh, this little spacer and these two uh, plastic end pieces they don't have it listed here but I looked ahead see like the spacer goes in the spring and then these actually go down in the ends of the the bed they just pop right in so uh, just a quick note before I continue took me about 40 minutes to put together so the instructions said it would be take about 30 minutes so that was, that was actually pretty close the uh, it was really simple to put together uh, one thing I uh, mentioned was is uh, in uh, the parts uh, the instructions or the parts list they had six of these smaller bolts and the instructions called for four of the smaller ones and then two hex. Well, they sent six and this is where the hex bolts were actually supposed to go. It's not a big deal. They uh, work just fine there. So it's probably uh, where they changed something and didn't update their instructions. Um, the one thing I don't like about these bolts is that they're flat. They call for a flathead screwdriver. I don't like those as much because it's too easy to slip and since you have to use both hands and reach around the uh, side of the of the, uh, the cart, it's really hard. It's not really hard, it just makes it kind of difficult to get a good grip on it. So if they use like a Phillips or a, a carriage bolt, that would be a lot better. But um, the there's a couple things I noticed down over on the side here I don't know if you can see it very well but this is how the, uh, the actual uh, cargo area is put together it's like a, a carriage bolt or not carriage I'm sorry it's a um, the welding on there just tack welded now there is some burning in there I've seen some welding jobs where they just tack it and it's barely holding and if it breaks you can see that it doesn't burn into the metal um, this one actually looks like they they did a decent job of that all in all I think it's construction constructed okay um, it is Menard so take it for what it's worth uh, I haven't really tried it out yet but it's supposed to be a 750 pound capacity I guess we'll see how true that is but all in all it seems like it's it's constructed well and it should be well suited for just general yard work
Uh, the other thing um, is the, uh, the dump action on the trailer. You pull that lever, it doesn't go automatically. You gotta kinda nudge it a little bit and it goes down pretty easily. I'm actually holding it back here and uh, getting it back on. It holds real firm. I drove it around with my kids in it and uh, there was no wobbling to it. It didn't, there was no time in there where I thought that I had to, you know, kind of slow down or make sure that, that it wasn't going to dump them out. And uh, it held really well. Uh, the overall, I think it's all right, especially for just doing general yard work, maybe pulling some, some wood to your house for, uh, for firewood or getting grass clippings or things like that but it's certainly not a hot anything high-end um, obviously you're buying it from Menards and uh, I think if it's something that you just got a riding lawnmower you want you want to have a little extra capacity to carry something around this is it'd be perfect for you other than that I, I think that was about all so thanks for watching